Hi guys, you're watching uh, Project X with Joel today. Um, it's just going to be me playing Battlefield 3 today because, as most of you know, probably if you're situated in England, it's half term. And my school finished a day earlier than Rory's school, so he's at school today, so I'll be playing some Battlefield 3 by myself. Uh, today I'll be using the Scar H. Uh, the attachment I'll be using on it will be um, the holographic sight. It's a great gun in terms of damage and accuracy. The only thing that lets it down is its small mag size. There isn't a extended mag attachment for it either, so it's kind of annoying really. I, you, you'll probably see me dying a lot because I'm having to reload quite quickly in the situations where there's more than one like enemy, so I can't really take them on. Uh, I'm playing Team Deathmatch. Um, I've only just started using the Sky H, like, for, like, I've only started, well, I used it when I unlocked it, but I didn't use it that much, it's only, like, recently that I've started using it quite a lot, so, I may not be the best with it, is what I'm trying to say, so bear with me. Um, yeah, it's... Battlefield 3 in terms of like a good game for multiplayer is probably the best FPS for multiplayer around. If you want more of a classic style like themed FPS then go with Call of Duty but this is like a lot more realistic, it's, it's a lot more difficult, it's not as fast paced in most circumstances but a lot of like you can set it, you can like specify what lob type of lobbies you want to join. If you want to join a fast paced lobby then you can, it's, it's really good, I've, I'm enjoying it a lot. It's a great game to play with friends because you have the squad set up so it like, encourages teamwork a lot more, like Call of Duty, but it, it is also good for, it also like caters the lone wolf kind of players if you like to just run around on your own, you know, it, it's a great game. Uh, a lot, a lot of people are using M16s. Uh, I know that it's like the first American assault weapon you unlock. It, it is really good. Um, I have used it myself. I, I, it is a lot of fun to use. Okay. Then I had to climb down. Huh? Team Deathmatch, you don't, you can't squad spawn. You have random spawn points, or if your squad has laid down a spawn beacon or anyone for that matter, you can um, you can spawn on it. So by random spawn, it really usually means wherever your wherever the most of your team is. So now I'm spawning at the back of the map. Oh man. Yeah, so it's it's not exactly random, but it is good enough. Like blocked in, we're kind of being like backed in. 
into a corner, like storming, kind of like rushing at you. Get a grenade in there. Okay, got one of them. Yeah, and 
and as I was saying, um, it's kind of like having a bad team, it kind of affects how well you do, I find, because you kind of get like put off in a way. Okay, now you're being pushed right back. Okay, I think I've got 22 to 12. 22 kills to 12 deaths. Okay. Whoa. Oh no. I've lost connection. Oh. Guess, guess I'll have to wrap it up there then. Uh, thanks for watching guys. Uh, please subscribe to our channel. Like this video, add to favourites. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching.